bubble wrap. All my horses, I'm gonna bubble wrap them. Hey guys, welcome to the farm. Why are you following me, little bit? <laughs> she thinks I have breakfast. I don't have my light on here, so the lighting's gonna be really messed up today, but um, I haven't been up here to do a video in a long time. I wanted to update you guys. I swear, just so many things going on. I, I feel like I need to bubble wrap our horses and animals for that matter. I haven't updated y'all on YouTube, but I did on our uh, Instagram. Uh, we had lost one of our bucklings that was born this spring. Just a complete shock. Like, I, there was no sign um, one of my older bucks was a little poopy and so I treated him um, and then went ahead and checked the famacha. That's what you can do with the goats. You check their eyes to see if they have a worm load. Um, it, it basically means a, a parasite or a worm load. It, it makes them anemic. Let me turn y'all around. You can see the boys. Hi boys, are you ready? Um, I'm getting them. They've gotten a little bit. I usually don't grain them. I don't grain my bucks. Um, give them grain, but because I've been giving them stuff. Now, the one we lost, Jeremiah was the one, if you remember, I really, really, really worked with him. He was born, I almost lost him when he was born. Um, he, he, I couldn't get anything but the head. And um, finally, after praying, like the fourth time, I said, Lord, I need something, and I was able to get his leg around and be able to get him out. Um, I didn't film the whole thing. I, I have a really hard time with, and anyway, filming that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, uh, his legs were cooked, so I got them straight. Uh, that said, wow, he did a great job on that. And then silent coccidia, like he had no symptoms. And by the time I checked his eyes, um, he was down. And once goats go down, it's very... The other thing I didn't have was my um, colloidal silver. That is a anti... Um, it's like a antibacterial, natural... Um, I'm watching my other goat. I mean, I'm watching them like hawks now because they're just, oh, he's just being a buck. Um, anyway, I didn't have that. It's an antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, and coccidia is a bacteria you can locate in a uh, fecal test. And I was out. And by the time I was able to start administering, he was already down and we lost him. So it, it, I've been here five years, I've lost two goats, and um, one's too many. It's just really hard to, um, to process. But today, um, we're gonna check the horses and all their injuries. I have Blue, who's got a abscess in her foot, so I'm gonna soak her foot. I'll show you some things I'm doing. Sophie has something going on with her eye. It looks like an eye ulcer, but it's smooth, so it's not, um, acting like an eye ulcer, and so I have her on a steroid cream I have to put in her eye, which she absolutely loves. So I'll take you all around for that. And then if you stick around, I'll take you down to see what I'm doing in my soap lab, my garage turned soap lab where I make all the soaps and stuff, and what I'm doing to get ready for the release, um, the 15th, so just a few more days. Hopefully I'll get this up. Yeah, so we'll kind of get just some chores that are going on. We're gonna go get horses. I'll give you all a glimpse of that. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, we're going up to the top field, which is seven, to get horses. Uh, one thing about the goats that I need to really work on, and I do this with the horses as well, is rotating pastures is so important. It cut down on um, parasites. So the boys right now, they're just, aww. Um, they're um, just in that paddock, and I let them out to browse but I think the water runoff is causing a tr problem in there, making it a little bit more with parasites, and we did have a wetter uh, summer. So, here's Amber and Luna. Hi, sweet girls, you gonna come in? Y'all are next, we get you next. So let's get these ponies. I'll show you Sophie, her eye. Hopefully it's better this morning. This is Miss Sophie, see the, her eye? So I'm gonna put medicine in when we get in the barn. Sorry, girl. And uh, I've got that down at the barn. We're gonna get her haltered and get her some breakfast. Pretty girl. All right, here we go to the barn. Y'all can go down the same way we came. Bye, buddy, see you down at the barn. Through the field? Um, yeah, you can go through the outdoor arena. Miss Blue and Sophie. And here comes Cider. He's so mad because of the flies. Yeah. <laughs> So another horse, so we have Blue has an abscess in her hoof, which I'll soak that and show you what I do for that. 
Luna here, I'm gonna go in, she's eating breakfast, but I wanna show you, she has allergies. And so I have her on antihist, which is a herbal, um, it's, the fan is on, so it's a little loud in here. But if you can see, see how she's breathing really intensely with her belly? That is where she's just trying to, see that right there? Um, she is allergic to something. I believe it's in the round bales. So I've been giving her only square bales. Um, the round bales are great quality. We get them the same place we get the square bales. But sometimes there tends to be a little bit more dust in there. Her being in the stall, it can also be dusty. But I've noticed, or I should say, I haven't really noticed a difference whether I have her out or in. It's, it, it's the doing the square bales. Uh, versus the round bale. In the past uh, four or five days, she's had a round bale in her paddock. So we're trying to eliminate that and just do the square bales. Hi, Cider. You're being so patient. All right, so blue, I have to pick up some more Epsom salt. That's what I would soak her foot in. And I use essential oils like oregano, um, a Thieves blend that has some really good. Hi, sweet girl. She is a, um, she's a leopard Appaloosa. So if you see back here, she's lifting up her foot. It, it hurts to put pressure on it. Um, typically, you'd want to halter a horse um, to get a look, but I'm gonna see if she's gonna let me. Look at this really dark spot here, isn't it pretty? She's a pretty girl. She's so good in her therapy sessions. She really is. So, right there. Do you see that? You see when I touched the heel of her of her hoof, how she reacted to that. So she did have her feet done about oh, two weeks, maybe two weeks ago. And sometimes there's some underlining thing there. So soaking that will definitely help. And I will give her. I'm, I'm not um, butte something you can give for pain to make them a little bit more comfortable. Uh, so I will give her some of that, but she doesn't eat it out of her food. I have to actually squirt it in her mouth, with, mix it with water and syringe it into her mouth like I did with the goats on their medicine. So um, standing in the stall, well, she can rest it, but she risks stocking up, which is a whole other thing, and giving butte on top of that. I really don't want to do it for too long. It can produce ulcers in horses. So I, I monitor and just watch her behavior and make sure that she's um, handling everything well, but soaking that foot as soon as I get some more Epsom salt. I had some, but my husband picked up the wrong kind. It has like perfume in it. I can't, I can't do it. I'm not gonna subject you to that. No artificial perfume for my ponies. No, I wouldn't bathe in it. I'm not gonna bathe you in it. No. Okay, now for Sophie. Tell you, I need to bubble wrap these ponies. I'm gonna have to halt to her, and um, this is a triple antibiotic with a steroid. I don't have lighting on my phone right now. I mean, on my camera. So, um, and this, you only want to do a steroid in a horse that doesn't have a scratch in their eye. So she does not have a scratch in her eye. Steroid will actually exasperate it if you put a steroid in a, a, in a horse's eye that is scratched but we do a dye test. The vet comes and does a dye test with her and her cornea did not absorb that dye. If it scratched, it would. So we know that this is safe to put in her. I need to put this in at least four times a day, as much as I can. Her eye's a little more open today, but as soon as I go and look at it, she like squints it like, don't touch my eye, because it is painful. Again, I did have her a little bit on some pain meds, some butte, but then I wean her off, take her off. I just don't, I don't, I'm not butte happy. I'm not one of those butte happy. Um, horse owners that's like, oh, well, they're in pain, just beat them, beat them, beat them. Um, I really try to um, be wise about that because it can cause more um, issues. It's like if you took aspirin every single day, you know, your stomach, you'd start feeling it. You can get stomach ulcers as well. So she's, she knows what I'm going to do. She's like, mm mm. Ideally, what I want to do is like pull her lower eyelid down and swipe about a quarter of an inch of this gel in but I just get as much as I can. <laughs> Give me a pretty girl. So I want her butt to turn away from me. So I'm gonna ask for manners. Thank you. I know, I got your, 
your not favorite stuff, huh? Yeah. Well, she's not happy. I have two youth volunteers in here working with Luna and Cider. Look what a good boy he is. They're just, he's just waiting for his next direction. I'm gonna actually work with Amber and I've been working with her and a trainer. I don't use her yet in therapy sessions, um, but you're gonna be amazing. Yes, you are. She's gone through a lot of trauma, so we're working through all of that and um, that'll be great. Okay, guys, if you stick around, I'm gonna take you down to the house in my soap lab where I make all of my bath and body uh, products, all my all natural stuff. I use a lot of infused um, botanicals and things I grow here on the farm. So if you want to hang around for that, that's what I'll be doing next. Okay, I am in my soap lab and I'm slowly but surely moving um, all my stuff that was in one of my rooms in my house. That was where I would package soap and everything and this is where I started making soap. Um, but now I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna make the soap, I'm gonna print my labels out here, I'm going to package everything and ship out all the um, products that I make. And I made this soap last night this is a calendula, oh not a calendula, this is a uh, chamomile. So I have chamomile flowers on top, but I also infused um, some oil with chamomile and the, the base of the soap is chamomile tea. I seeped the chamomile flowers in um, some to make, to make tea and I use that and put it with my lye. I freeze it and if you're interested in seeing my soap making process, I have a video I'll link down below so you can go see that, just how to make soap at home. It's, it's just really rewarding and I use, usually, usually use the goat's milk, but I use, um, I do vegan bars as well, utilizing um, botanicals, teas and things like that, um, aloe vera juice. So I have some that are available to those who don't want the goat's milk but I love my goat's milk. Um, let me show you some things I have coming up and then I'm gonna actually cut this soap. So the last video I did, I showed how I made the hibiscus uh, soap and this is the face bar. I mean, literally you can use it all over your body but I designed it specifically for the face. Um, so I have that with the hydrosol, I said hydro in the video last time but it's hydrosol um, uh, rose water um, has witch hazel in there and all kinds of things, need my glasses. So um, I, I put vitamin C, um, it's infused with alkanet root powder cause that's just, it's got aloe vera juice um, and organic vegetable glycerin. So it's, it's really toning for the skin and then what comes with that skincare is also my um, serum. And this is my oldest daughter. She had, she looked at the ingredients and she's been using it on her face but she's like, Mom, this is a perfect scalp um, like recovery. It's healing for the scalp. So she's been utilizing it on her scalp. Um, and it has jojoba oil, aragon oil, olive oil, um, rosehip oil, uh, vitamin E. I use um, lavender and copaiba, which is very great for the skin and evidently the scalp. So you add a couple of drops to your scalp and she says her scalp that she usually has trouble with has been really doing well. So I'm excited about that. Um, so these will be available coming September 15th. I'll have this video out before then, but you can go to steadfasttrailfarm.com and sign up for the newsletter. I send a newsletter out once a month. I don't inundate your, your box, but I'll send out a uh, video a video i'll send out an email once a month just kind of giving a heads up what's going on i'll have a coup coupon code code there and um just you know what's going to be available some highlights of what's going to be available so this will be the skincare um, trio that i have and i'm going to be selling i do have other bar options so that is a goat milk hibiscus i do have salt bars that are um a couple bars that are vegan um, that you can pick from. So if you don't want that bar, that face bar, you can pick another bar, which I am so excited. So I'm doing a sale. I'll be 50 on the 21st of September. That's my birthday. So I'm doing a um, sale on the face trio, uh, skincare trio for $50 and free shipping over 50. So that's what's gonna be happening in September. I'm so excited. This is my typical day, guys. I'm up at the barn in the morning. I come back down, I homeschool Weston, and uh, we have some lunch, and I might take like a little 15, 20 minute nap, you know, get a little nap in, 
uh, come out and get ready for creations. I'll be making a soap tonight as well. So I've got dishes soaking, soap dishes soaking. But let's cut the soap and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Just remember to like, subscribe, and even share if you think it's something that someone would be interested in. I really just love sharing life on the farm here with you guys. And I, I hope that it just ignites something in the watchers, whoever's watching, that it just encourages you and you think about, man, you know, this has been a dream for us to be living on a farm and doing equine ministry and working with kids in the community. And then me making goat milk soap and, you know, raising our goats. And it's just, it's been a long dream. It's been a long, it took 10 years to get here. So um, I want to encourage you along as well, guys. Thanks so much. Enjoy the soap cutting on the way out. God bless, bye. Outside of your dreams Cause you might miss the moment He's reaching out his hand And you Look beyond all your things Cause you might overlook That she's asking you to dance You gotta give all you got Gotta give all you got for love Cause you're here for a moment